Welcome back, Wastelanders, to the channel. We have another Wastelander walkthrough for you. But first, I have a question for you. Do you need more caps? Maybe you just want to know how your friend always has players as vendors and you don't. Stick around, because I'm going to go over eight ways to rake in the caps using your vendor. Free tip for you. Stick around to the end, as the last tip is the most important and commonly overlooked reason for vending success or failure. Tip number one, location, location, location. Have your house close to free travel locations or train stations. Location is important because players that don't have many caps will more than likely not come if it costs a lot of caps to get to your home. With Fage not coming up, place your camp near the event location. Fixed seasonal event locations are a hidden gold mine as they attract all in-game players. Tip number two, join a team. People on your team can fast travel to your home for free so more players will come because there's nothing worse than spending 30 caps and not finding anything to buy. Tip number three, having more than one vendor. You can place four vending machines at your camp and they all show the same item. If you only have one vendor though and multiple guests, they have to wait for the player before them to finish. Having more vendors means more players can shop at the same time. Having to wait can deter players from buying your items. Here's a useful tip. You can also place four vendors in your shelter. This is especially useful for those dailies of visit another player or teammate's shelter. Yet another reason to join a team. Tip number four. Make it easy for them to find your vendor. Signs, lighting, this all helps people go to your vending machine. Make sure that they know where your vending machine is located. Move your spawn if you have to, so that way people don't have to look forever for your vending machine. Psst. Hey you. Yeah you. You've made it halfway through. And number five is one of my personal keys to success. If you're enjoying this video, hit that like button. It really helps us out. Tip number five. Increase your foot traffic. More foot traffic means more people are coming to your camp, which increases your chances of selling stuff. You may be saying, that's nice, but what do I, how do I do that? Try to have at least of one of every item that is listed that shows up on the map when they look at your camp. Seeing so many different options makes your camp more alluring. Tip number six, pricing. Price your items accordingly. If your stuff is way overpriced, no one will buy it. Tip number seven, unique items. Having unique items and not the same stuff as everyone else really sets your camp apart. Unique items such as rare or apparel, plans, serums, or food buffs, like Ballistic Bok, they really will have you rolling in the caps in no time. If you need advice on where or how to get unique items, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video in this series. Last but not least, tip number eight. Make sure your vendor is turned on. So many people do not realize that this is the problem. I've even done it before. Guys, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me and watching this video. I am truly, truly amazed. Thank you so much.